Hi, I'm Kay and this is Bob Science with Kay. Today we're gonna. <gasps> blow up a balloon. Making soda and vinegar! <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you the supplies you'll need. B -b 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 baking soda, uh -uh. beep boop bop, vinegar, a balloon, a funnel, safety goggles for a robot, beep boop bop bop, and an empty water bottle, beep boop bop bop beep. Now. Take your funnel and your happy face, maybe balloon. Then put the baking soda in the balloon. You need this much. We'll just do until it's until it's full. And you know it's full when the baking soda stops going in it. Okay, it's full. Now we put our balloony to side. Bye bye, Bloony. <laughs> Put your funnel on here. Pour your vinegar in. The vinegar has to be up to about here. Now we are going to put Bloony. On here. Yikes. That would be bad. We don't want it to. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Just keep getting bigger and bigger. Oh, let's pop it. Now we're going to pop it. It seemed impossible to make a balloon blow up with just vinegar and baking soda, but it happened. Now I'm going to tell you a Bible story that is exactly like that. Something happened that was impossible, but it happened that we thought was impossible. David and Goliath. 1 Samuel 17, 1 through 51. The Philistines were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. A giant soldier came to fight King Saul's army. Their army, um, um, to, a giant, um, Bring the giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring out your best soldier to fight me. In God time, when in Jesus time, giants were real. Can you believe that? If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves, he boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's soldiers were afraid. They did not want to fight the giant. Meanwhile, young David was taking food to his brothers. They were, in, they were soldiers in King Saul's army. When David reached the camp, he saw Goliath. David heard Goliath's challenge. 
I am not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul called for, for David and told him, You cannot fight the giant. You are young. You are too young. David replied, God will be with me. King Saul gave him his armor to give gave his armor to David. But it was big and heavy. David wasn't used to wearing armor. David went to a nearby stream. He picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him, but David did not care. He said, he said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. David put a stone in his sling and ran toward the giant. Then he let the stone fly. The, it hit Goliath's forehead, and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw their hero was dead. They ran away. Thank you for watching Bible Science with Kay. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Be afraid of giants in the way. With God you know that anything's possible. So step into the fight, he's right there by your side. Stones inside your head might be small, go watch the giant fall. Thank you for watching Bible Sons with K. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. What we gonna do now, boss? Initiating. Hi, I'm Kay. This is Bible Science with Kay. Today we're gonna blow up a balloon with mom, mom, <laughs> not like that with soda and vinegar. Begging soda and vinegar. I didn't turn it off. Sorry. I zoomed out. I'm not I won't zoomed out. I thought she stopped it. I'm sorry. We We just finished filming Bible Science with Kay. I meant I forgot to say this, so I wanted to make a video of me sing, swinging while I said this. Um the thing that I wanted to say was Please like and subscribe to my channel, and please like and subscribe and or watch the new channel called Kaylin is a Ham. It's not my channel, but it's one of my best friend's channel. We knew each other since we were babies. She's my first friend. This is how I go. Please like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>